Sun Star. <laughs> Now, folks, we're, oh, oh, I did. Well, it's just kind of my question. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> well, we just want to. Um, we we just. I'm really very thankful and grateful that we are part of this festival. Um, I'm sorry we didn't get to see the other, excuse me, the other days of it, but it seems like it was a fabulous success, and um, we just hope that there's more and more to come. We hope it comes back next year, and you guys come out and support this festival. Woo! It's a lot of great yeah! hard work. Um, it's, it's, I can't even describe how wonderful it is a feeling to be uh, an arts administrator or a cultural worker, as some people will call us, and come to a show knowing that it's already sold out. Kelly Strayhorn is a place that's been dedicated to emerging artists since its uh, inception um, back in 1999 when it opened, reopened as a performing arts space. If you didn't know this, it's a pretty old building, almost 100 years old, and it was, yes, <laughs> yes, and it was a, a movie theater um, before. So since it's been a performing arts space, Kelly Strayhorn has supported I think our account right now is over 500 artists um, in, in their efforts to create and to make new work and um, to continue to grow as artists. So this, this space is an incredibly special place and plays a really important role in Pittsburgh. <laughs> principles and values that we think about when we program this space. We think about diversity, we think about um, artists who make work that's relevant and um, has some sense of responsibility or some, like, some sense of being responsive to an audience, people who have something to say about the world that we're living in today. Those tend to be the artists that we want to present and want to support. And most importantly, and maybe it uh, goes without saying, is that the artists who grace this stage are extremely talented as the set of artists you've just witnessed performing.
give the young people pride in place because, as you all know, young people rarely get a chance to really talk about what they do, what they're thinking, what's on their mind, and of course, not to share their art. And so that's why Sun Stars in the Making is so important. That's why we wanted to do this program. So um, it's really great to have the Kelly Strayhorn Theater here with Janera Solomon as executive director, thinking progressively and doing progressive types of programs. This is a big discussion, you know, why we should have this at all. Uh, and um, it's all of our dreams to fill the house. And um, so maybe when we talk later in our in our Q and A session, you can tell me a little bit about why you're here and um, whether you think it's important to have a women's festival and how we can continue to grow. Um, because I now feel very connected to Sunstar just after a dinner and a <laughs> lunch and talking to Toshi Regan, who was here uh, at the last festival. So I want to be a part of the development. And we need you and your feedback, most of all, I think. One of my mentors is Belle Hooks. And she describes the podium as the patriarchal podium because of the, uh, the patriarchal pulpit, because of the relationship that it establishes between the person speaking and the people who are coming to hear the person speaking. So that there's an idea that I'm the one who is, you know, floating down from on high, the interlocutor from uh, between you, the masses who who don't know, and and the Godhead who is streaming down through me. So we know that that is a fallacy, and that it's actually um, uh, the relationship is much more like this. There is there are more ways than just you know. You go have a career, or you, you know, or you stay at home. And, and like in other careers, there's this sort of happening where you can you can do both. But in music, it's still I still see a lot of the either or, you know. And I just it, I just kind of fell into. I mean, you know, we wanted to have a kid. Just it wasn't not as maybe as early as we did. And so the. We had a full touring schedule when I was pregnant. I had to record the album, you know, our last album while I was pregnant. Um, you know, I had three months off and then we were back on the road. So my child has been on the road with us since she was four months old. There were decisions that we made as a couple, you know. I mean, I, I don't know about doing it on your own. That, that'd be very difficult. But, um, you know, what I would tell young women is don't plan your life, you know, as either or. You know, be open to different ways of doing things. Now, the way we do it wouldn't work for other people. You know, my husband chose to, to put a delay on his career and come out full time on the road and and be the full time, you know, child minder when I'm on the on the otherwise known as a parent um, when I'm when I'm on the on on stage. You know, and so we make that work for us. But. That, that would have been my main thing, because I've had people email me now, I'm starting to get a lot of emails from other women on the road, like, how are you doing this, like, you know, and um, that's, that would be my, my main thing is, you know, don't put yourself in a box in terms of your life and career. Now, I'm going to say something, um, and that is, it's, it's uh, not common, but it's getting more and more common to en encounter so many women in uh, musical events and uh, things like this highlight that because there's so many wonderful talented women out there not just musicians but also in administration and stage management and lights and tech and and you know we're out there and it's just really important to to recognize that we do have a, a ways to go to infiltrate every level not just the lead singer but every level of the musical world and uh, festivals like this really take huge steps for that so i just wanted to say that as a woman in a <clears throat> rest mostly male band. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's just, it's really important. So I just, I'm glad to be here today.
support, which I, I couldn't really make any of this happen without the incredible team of volunteers and staff and board members and sponsors and lots of people who are involved in making this space happen. Just by uh, a round of applause, how many of you, this is your first time or it's been a really long time since you've been here? Okay, the Kelly Strayhorn is only one of the best places in the city.